Hey guys, this is Jordan Winslow, your new electronic music producer friend, and I'm here to give you a tutorial on RPG Maker, actually. This is my first RPG Maker tutorial, but since it's something pretty quick and easy, I figured I'd share it with you, something to help make your games a little bit more unique. So I was uh, looking around for plugins to figure out how to make my RPG Maker game have like a scanline effect like a CRT television uh, like the old games as you can see here in this uh, image and I was looking everywhere and I saw a lot of really complex ways to do it that um, I felt like were a little too much effort for what it's worth and so I actually achieved this effect pretty simply by going online and I knew I could find some transparent overlays. So I, I went online and I typed in transparent scan lines into an image search and I found some generic ones. I cut them um, into a 8 16 by 624 resolution which is the game's resolution if you're sticking with the native RPG Maker MV resolution and I just used uh, the freeware program GIMP to do this on Windows you can do it in any software but you well not in uh, MS Paint because you can't save transparency in MS Paint and it's important that this image has a transparent background so what we're doing is we're making a transparent .png image that just plays at the very beginning of the game over everything else and so what that looks like is I have my title screen here and on the title screen the first thing it does when it loads the game period is it shows a picture which takes up the entire screen because it's the the picture is the resolution of the screen and I called it scan lines to make it real easy and it just plays that so no matter where they are in the game when they load this game up it's gonna play the scan line picture as a transparent overlay over everything because the image itself is transparent therefore no complex scripting is required and uh, it makes your game look pretty unique so uh, if you need a little bit more clarification um, I can show you basically for most of you, that would have already addressed your concerns, but if you want a little bit more detail, here's the image that I used myself. It's scanline overlay, uh, blah, 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 blah. It's just uh, something somebody posted in the LibRetro forums, which is a forum dedicated to uh, retro gaming. And so you can tell it's transparent because it has this checkered background behind it. And so what I'm doing is I am uh, saving this image to the desktop, opening it up in GIMP so I'll go ahead and open that let's see and so it's too large it's 1280 by 960 so all you have to do in GIMP or any other image program that deals with transparent backgrounds is basically go to image and scale image well, actually, even better than that, if you want to, um, if you don't want to distort the image at all, just change the canvas size to um, 816 by 624, and uh, you can choose anywhere. I, you can choose right in the middle. This is one method of doing it. The method that I used was a little bit different than this one but this one works when you zoom in you can see that it's literally just black lines but they're shaded a little bit and so it kind of simulates a CRT screen and then what I did was I adjusted the opacity of even that image I took it down to like 70 or lower and uh, that way it's not too dominant in the game itself so hopefully this helps you guys add a cool, unique effect to your uh, RPG Maker games. And uh, if you like this tutorial, uh, you want to ask me some questions about uh, music production or RPG Maker or Visual Novel Maker, if you want any advice, let me know. And if I have the time, I'll record some more of these videos. See you later, guys.